COVID cases are rising in 39 states across the country. This has a new variant is popping up in the U.S., but experts say hospitalizations and deaths are still low. ABC News medical contributor, epidemiologist Dr. John Brownstein joins me now for more on this. Dr. Brownstein, thanks for coming on. Let's just start with the basics. How worried should we be about this uptick in cases? Well, Diane, this is all part of the normal cycle that we expect from COVID. We see these increases in the summer, mostly because of gatherings that are taking place. And we see this emerging new variant. And of course, now we're seeing these increases across the country. We're flying blind a little bit because we're not really tracking cases. We're using wastewater as an indicator. But what we do know is that hospitalizations are still at record lows and that we're seeing those really among the elderly and the, the most vulnerable, uh, and deaths also are, are incredibly low. So this variant is spreading fast, but it's not creating severe illness and death, which is a good news for us. So what do we need to know about the FLIRT variant? Yeah, so the FLIRT variant is a descendant of Omicron, and we've spoken many years about all these different variants. What we're talking about now is two subvariants, KP.2 and KP.3, and they're spreading quickly. In fact, I'm seeing in my family first cases of COVID ever. So this is a variant that's spreading fast, but what we know is it's not causing different symptoms and it's not creating more severe disease. So ultimately we're not increasingly worried, but we still have to continue to monitor these variants, understand the genetic makeup, but recognize that this is all part of the normal evolution of the virus. All right, ABC's medical contributor, epidemiologist, Dr. John Brownstein, thank you. Thanks, Diane.